everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Submarines, these stealth phantoms of the deep, had made turning points in World War I and World War II. Though their endurance was limited, submarines offered exceptional power to their respective navies. In the 1960s, a new sophisticated type was introduced, the nuclear-powered submarines. This type has incredible endurance, capable of remaining submerged for months at a time and of firing long-range nuclear missiles without surfacing. This ability provides a survivable and reliable second strike capability, deterring potential adversaries from launching a nuclear attack. Additionally, submarines play a critical role in projecting power globally through intelligence gathering, reconnaissance, and covert surveillance. Currently, the United States Navy has a fleet of 69 commissioned submarines, including 14 Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, 4 Ohio-class guided missile submarines, 28 Los Angeles-class attack submarines, 19 Virginia-class attack submarines, and 3 Seawolf-class attack submarines. Routine exercises are conducted worldwide to prepare the crew and to keep these underwater crafts top notch. Sailors check even the tiniest detail before diving aboard the Virginia class submarine USS Texas. They meticulously prepare for a dive during a routine training exercise in the Pacific Ocean. The process involves synchronizing the vessel's powerful nuclear reactor, which propels it silently through the depths. Each detail is scrutinized, from securing hatches to checking sonar arrays. Physics and engineering are what allow a submarine to dive or resurface. A vital phenomenon characterizing water and which defines a submarine's state is buoyancy. According to Archimedes' principle, when the weight of water displaced by an object matches its own weight, the object floats, otherwise it sinks. However, the unique design of submarines manipulates this principle to submerge or resurface. The tanks can be filled with either air or water to fulfill the navigation requirement. When the moment comes, the crew opens vents in these tanks. Water surges in, increasing the vessel's density. Operators carefully regulate the inflow until the desired depth is achieved, then seal the vents. Oh, 
The descent speed also depends on the hydroplanes. By adjusting the angle of these planes, the submarine can directly influence the rate at which it descends. After months in the dark, sailors prepare to resurface the submarine. Submarines can serve as a platform for launching sea-based intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs. These nuclear weapons are launched from ballistic missile submarines, commonly known as boomers. Boomers are purposely engineered for stealth, making them incredibly difficult for adversaries to detect. These submersibles remain on perpetual patrol. They ensure that sea-based ICBMs are always poised to deliver their potent payloads whenever needed. Modern submarine-launched ballistic missiles are equipped with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs, a technology that enables a single missile to carry multiple nuclear warheads. The missile ignites with a powerful burst, propelled by a surging jet of fuel. It rises forcefully through the water's surface, ascending towards the sky with remarkable vigor. In addition to missiles, submarines are equipped with another destroying weapon, torpedoes. These are not only used against enemies, but also for some special missions, such as sinking decommissioned ships. For instance, during the rim pack, the USS Olympia submarine was assigned to sink the decommissioned ex-USS Racine. This process requires special attention to detail, as any error could jeopardize the mission's success. First, the crew opened the submarine's torpedo tube door. Here, the torpedo is carefully inserted into the tube, and the door is securely closed. Power is activated within the torpedo, accompanied by a brief warm-up period. This interval allows for the upload of essential fire control programs to the weapon. Rolls race to surface! Roll and tube two, stand clear. clear. To prepare for launch, the torpedo tube is flooded. The pressure mounts as sailors await the command to fire. Standing the bridge rails, clear for aft. Upon receiving the launch command, a water ram thrusts an immense volume of water into the tube at high pressure, propelling the torpedo with formidable force and ultimately sinking the ex-USS Racine. In the challenging environment beneath the Arctic Sea ice, divers embark on a mission to retrieve a test torpedo fired by a fast attack submarine during an ice exercise. After the torpedo is discharged, sailors track its position. Next, they drill holes through the ice to facilitate diver entry and exit. 
and an additional hole for the torpedo's extraction by helicopter. Then, divers enter the frigid waters. Seven feet below ice, they attach weights to a line secured to the torpedo's tail. This action shifts the torpedo from positive buoyancy to neutral buoyancy beneath the ice. Subsequently, brackets with cables are affixed to the torpedo's body. The final phase sees the munition connected to a helicopter, gracefully lifting it from the water's depths. The sea is an unpredictable and treacherous environment. Mariners must be prepared for emergencies. Thus, the U.S. and its NATO allies actively participate in submarine search, escape, and rescue, or SMER exercises. Professional divers undergo rigorous training to cooperate efficiently during distressed submarine incidents. This not only facilitates the rescue of crew members, but also advances tactics and equipment testing for handling emergencies at sea. The design of modern submarines is a marvel of engineering, crafted to endure the unforgiving pressures of the deep sea. Shipyard facilities play a pivotal role in bringing these designs to life. There are a few shipyards in the world with the capabilities to construct naval submarines. Saab, a Swedish company renowned for its innovation and expertise in defense technology, stands out in submarine manufacturing. Saab uses automation technology to perform heavy work and repetitive tasks. Powerful robots include a rolling machine that bends the thick steel plates into perfect cylinders. The surface is then prepared for welding to form the whole subsections. These are welded and assembled together to form the main hole sections. Typically, a submarine pressure hole consists of five sections. This process is repeated for the outer hole. Steel ribs are welded to separate the inner and outer holes in order to accommodate ballast tanks. This modular platform design allows for parallel design and testing of pre-assembled platforms, such as the engine room and the command center. Quality control is paramount. Ultrasonic measurement technology and x-rays are used to test the joint and welding. In contrast, Large hull models and structures are evaluated at 260 bar in hyperbaric chambers. Pipes are inspected by filling them with helium and checking for leaks. After the submarine is commissioned, it undergoes a shakedown cruise to see how it would operate in wartime conditions. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.